a bit of a nothingy sunrise today. It's a bit of a just like obviously beautiful, but it's like just a, a grey kind of pale yellow rather than those really vibrant pinks and oranges and things. But it's still nice to be out when it's so still and quiet. See lots of bats going around as well this morning. Apparently Fraser's up too and he said he saw lots of coyotes. Not that he didn't see them at all, I just lied to you. He said he heard lots of coyotes last night. I obviously slept straight through that. We got pizza last night as you will have seen and then after that I was just like, oh. I don't think you can see it, but there's loads of rabbits running about up there. No, you probably can't see it on this camera. Can you hear that noise? I don't know what that animal that is. The sun is trying to break through now. Come on. Oh, last morning. Here in Joshua Tree, we're actually leaving in about, I don't know, less than an hour now, so we're just packing our bits together. We've got Abby blaring the streets out of her room, which is epic. We've got Sai doing his gram. We got some great shots last night. We've got Fraser and Zoe out there in the pool getting a last dip. What's the temperature like today? Glorious. Oh, how inviting does that look? Um, I don't know where John is, and Sam is just finishing packing too. But we're all saying we could do a stay a couple of days more in Joshua Tree, just to explore a bit more and enjoy the pool. But we are heading to Malibu today, um, and that is where our hotel is for Ben's wedding. So we've got, I guess, an afternoon and evening there, and then tomorrow is the wedding. But Sai and Sam will be doing best man stuff all today, so we will be passing on without them for the majority, which is fine. So Sod's Law, the pool guy, came this morning to clean the pools just as we're leaving and it looks so inviting and lovely. Damn it. Anyway, I suppose the tripod, which is actually broken this holiday and nearly killed both of my cameras, uh, which is no good. Look, this completely come loose. Today I've made a decision to actually not go to Reading Festival for the first time in about, I don't know, over 15 years. I don't, I don't know what it is about this holiday, but I just think like, for the lineup isn't really my thing this year, so for the sake of seeing a few bands, do I want to spend all that money that, you know, food, travel, accommodation is going to cost, and I could put it towards a holiday and end up back somewhere like this. It's not actually a hard decision when you think about it like that, so I think... When I get home, I'm going to change my plans and not go to Reading and just, uh, I don't know, think of something else fun to do instead. I might just go for a day, go and see Panic or something. So we're saying goodbye to Joshua Tree now. Oh, Joshua Tree. I like Joshua Tree a lot. Yeah, it's a great place, but we are now going to Malibu, which will be Ooh. a different vibe, but Quiet still. Pioneer Town. Oh, we're going quite Pioneer Town first, just a little drive-by to there, take some snaps, and then onwards. Yeah, I've got nothing else to say. Are you enjoying the song, sir? Loving it. Yeah, good. Uh, it fits perfectly for the, uh, the landscape. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> but it smells nice.
so I've arrived at the Hyatt. The boys have already gone to another hotel where they're meeting Ben um, for like a rehearsal dinner type thing. So I'm here on my own at the moment, but um, some people are en route, so I'm going to meet up with them once they arrive. I'll just do a quick room tour. Um, I've already obviously made a mess of it because we have all our stuff from the whole trip here. Um, but anyway, in here is fairly basic bathroom, a bit clean and big enough, nice big mirror, lights there and importantly there are plugs near a good mirror so it's a good place to do my hair for the wedding which is great. Uh, oh we've got a bath! Oh I haven't had a bath in a while, just haven't had time so that's going to be lovely. Another big mirror and wardrobe. Um, this bed is so high it goes up to Oh, it goes up to my lady garden basically, but I actually need to do a little hop to get on top of it. Um, the TV, desk, sofa, and <laughs> lovely view of that, <laughs> but it's absolutely fine. And um, yeah, I'm excited to sleep. I'm very uh, excited. Still alive. Yeah. 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 So I've just come in. We um, we went for dinner where the reception is going to be tomorrow, a place called Malibu Cafe, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Lots of like, it's just lots of outdoor bits, different little sections. There's fairy lights. There's um, what do you call it when there's a text made out of lights? Oh, I can't remember. it's just really gorgeous, and I can totally see why they picked it for their wedding it's just stunning but it feels it's big but it feels intimate um it's cool but it's cozy i don't know it's just really lovely as soon as i got in there i was like oh i like this place um and for dinner on the menu they had a vegan burger and it's made from the um oh my brain is just not working i'm so tired it was what's the meat that we had on the barbecue and in the chili beyond beyond meat i think that's what it's called so it's the the fake meat that is very realistic so they had a burger with that in and some really tasty chips and so the actual official rehearsal dinner was going on in the same place so after we ate uh, we went over and met all of them uh, caught up with all Ben's family, Jen's family, met some of Jen's friends, caught up with Steph, who you might know as soothing sister. Um, so it's just really nice to mingle a bit, say hello, just catch up. Um, but a few of us have come back. It's about, yeah, it's 11 o'clock, um, which is actually quite late for me. I've done quite well. Um, but we want to just make sure we have as much energy for the actual wedding tomorrow. So we're trying to be sensible. Um... Yeah, and just, you know, conserve our energy a little bit. Um, so I'm going to hop into the big bed once I've cleared all the crap off it. And um, wait for Sai to come and wake me up, probably. But yeah, so day one in Malibu done. Um, wedding day tomorrow. Jenna Ben, if you're watching this, I know it's going to be an amazing day. Uh, Jen's brother already did a speech at the... Um, rehearsal dinner that made me cry so I expect I'm going to cry lots tomorrow and Jen I just know you're going to look just like a beautiful doll like the most beautiful thing ever and Ben you're going to look absolutely rocking and cool so rocking and cool how old? I'm sounding like a mum something my mum was no she wouldn't even say that right I'm going to bed before I embarrass myself anymore <laughs>